guys it's your girl tiffy styles and i'm back at you with a video so this is gonna be um a pretty quick video guys i'm just gonna try out this method of wash um hair washing that i saw online and it's called the inverse hair washing method it's where you use the conditioner um and then you apply the shampoo directly after the conditioner And then I believe you rinse it out, but then I'm going to actually apply conditioner again after instead of the typical method of applying the shampoo first and then the conditioner after. These are the products that I'm going to use. So as you guys know, I always use the coconut milk shampoo from OGX. Um, and I normally use this as my conditioner. I normally mix the conditioner to the shampoo as well as the moisture rich Tresemme conditioner i've been using this since i was actually relaxed but today i'm gonna actually try the keratin smooth um, tresemme conditioner and see if i like it i have a little bandeau on guys so i'm not naked and by the way i'm gonna tell you guys the benefits of doing this method as i'm washing my hair so some of the information that i am going to be talking about is what i read from an article because I did actually see it on a TikTok first and then I decided to Google it and then I found this article. So we know that um, shampoos are typically used first because uh, shampoos are used to get rid of dirt, oil, or any buildup that you have during the course of the week or maybe every two weeks. It depends on how often you wash your hair. Some people use shampoos that have sulfate in it and sulfate is pretty strong for your hair because it does tend to strip your hair of its um, moisture. Although, however, sometimes I do use a sulfate shampoo uh, to really get rid of that oil that I, you know, apply during the course of the month. I try to use a sulfate shampoo at least once or twice a month. Conditioners are really great because if you do use a sulfate shampoo or even um, a shampoo in general because although some shampoos don't have sulfate it you know it still is cleansing your hair so some moisture is technically lost so conditioners are really good to replenish uh, moisture to your hair wow the slip on this oh wow I think I'm going to actually detangle my hair the second time that I apply a little bit of conditioner. And that's because although they said that you're supposed to just do the conditioner and shampoo, uh, I always like to put back, you know, I mean, this shampoo doesn't have um, sulfate in it, but I always like to add some conditioner before um, I finish my hair. I'm actually not going to do a deep conditioner this time around either because I do want to see the effect of just using the conditioner and um, shampoo by itself. Using the conditioner before shampoo is effective because they say one, uh, that the reverse hair washing method uh, won't leave your hair feeling greasy or weighed down afterwards. And that this method acts as a primer before actually washing your hair or rinsing out the um, shampoo. It states that it allows the shampoo to be distributed evenly. And I'm not going to lie to you, as I was doing this process, I did notice that as I applied the shampoo, it started um, getting really so sudy and, and soapy it did distribute really easily so I could 100% agree with that and also state that it protects the hair strand so that the shampoo won't strip the hair of its natural oils which is actually as I've stated before if you do use a sulfate shampoo then this would actually be a good method for you to use because adding the conditioner it, like you know it's, sit, it's sitting on top of your hair so then it does give it some kind of moisture before adding the sulfate shampoo so although it might strip your hair still it won't be as harsh as if you were to just use 
the sulfate shampoo without the conditioner so that's a pretty good um tip actually this article also says that this method is great for individuals with dry hair they say it's really good if you have damaged hair and it's really good if you have fine hair my hair is really really thick and not as fine but if you do have fine hair then go ahead and try this method so i'm going to add shampoo again because i always shampoo my hair twice by the way, I truly appreciate you all for taking the time out to watch my videos and I hope all the videos that I've posted on my channel thus far have been helpful or entertaining or made you smile or laugh in some way. And here I am adding the conditioner one more time. I am telling you all that the slip was really crazy to me. It was so easy for me to detangle granted with my other products that I normally use it is easy but this just had a different feel to it it felt like my hair was already prepped and ready to be detangled not bad at all I don't comb my hair throughout the week so this is pretty good um so I'm just gonna rinse out my hair guys and then I'll come back to you guys in a second all right, so my hair is washed. It's, I put it in my shirt, and I'm going to apply my products now. Um, for those of you who don't know what products I use on my hair, go ahead and check out my YouTube video. I'm actually going to link it, and you get to see the full process of how I wash my hair. It isn't this in process, but the original shampoo conditioner process with all of my products. So go ahead and check that out. I just want to let you guys know right now how my hair feels. While I was washing my hair, it felt super soft. Granted, yes, my hair normally feels soft, but for some reason this was like an extra kind of softness. And it was easier for me to detangle my hair. I'm going to try that process for this entire month and see how my hair feels. So I might do like an update video, see if it had any kind of benefits throughout the course of this month. But for now, um, this is what I'm showing you guys. Yeah, I, I, I truly like how it feels. My face is super dry. I'm about to apply my lotion. You guys can see I let my face air dry. But anyways, all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of my new subscribers. Shout out to you guys. Um, Stay tuned for more videos. All right. And for you guys who've been rocking with me, for the longest time. Mwah. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for the support. All right. Deuces.